Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to share with you a solution for reducing flaky test by integrating Helenium into automation framework which built on top of Selenium. The video content will include four sections, self-healing in automation, Helenium introduction, how to integrate Helenium into Selenium framework and the demo. Firstly, we need to understand what is self-healing in automation testing, one of the biggest challenges of automation test is flaky test which may come from UI changes. We can see in this picture, the function is still same, but the UI has been changed. It will lead to broken test. Our automation test script will be failed, and this can impact the release. Moreover, we need to spend the effort for fixing the broken test. For dealing with this problem, we can consider applying self-healing into our automation framework. It's the technology which leverage AI for overcome the issue related to UI change. Once the UI is changed, based on the test run history, it will help us find the similar element and work with it. Thanks to that, we will have less flaky test and save the effort for maintaining test script. Currently, there are several enterprise automation tools which support self-healing in their product like Catalan, Testim, Mabel. In this sharing, we'll share about an open source tool called Helenium. Helenium is the tool which integrates with Selenium for supporting us to adopt test to UI changes. When the UI is changed, it supports us to find a similar one to interact with. Thanks to that, it can help us improve E2E test stability. Moreover, it has a plugin to update the locator in the script automatically. This tool works not only for web application but also for mobile application. After self-healing, Helenium also generates a report so that user can evaluate if it works correctly. The way Helenium work is, for the first test run, Helenium will save the information of the element into database. It may include tag, ID, class, test method, screenshot, etc. When the UI is changed, WebDriver can't not find the element. Helenium will query the information from the database and compare the element information with the existing element in DOM. After that, it will provide a similar element based on tree comparing algorithm which base on the property or attribute of element. Helenium is able to integrate with Selenium automation framework in various kinds of programming language. However, the primary support is Java. For integrating Helenium into your Java Selenium framework, please follow the following steps. Firstly, we need to install Helenium. We can find the steps for installing from Helenium website. We can use Docker Compose to install it quickly. Now in your project, we will create helenium.properties file in resource folder with the following content. We can define the host, port of Helenium server. For the score cap, it will be the minimum percentage that an element can be considered as the replacement. In this configuration is 50%. Next, we need to add the dependency for Helenium into POM file. At the step of initializing WebDriver in your code, we need to wrap it into self-healing driver class. After that, for interacting with the application, we will use the instance of self-healing driver instead of WebDriver from Selenium. Let's move to the demo section for this tool. The demo with Helenium will start Helenium and enable Helenium setting in our automation framework. After that, we run a pass test case so that the information related to the locators will be sent to Helenium. We'll edit the UI of the AUT in this demo. If we don't have Helenium, the test case will be failed. Let's see how Helenium can help us to overcome this. We have created a bat file for starting Helenium server in our framework. Let's wait for all the services finish starting, then we can go to the console of Helenium on localhost with port 7878. After that, we need to add the information of Helenium server into the configuration file in our automation framework. Firstly, we need to run a pass test case so that Helenium can collect the information related to all the locator of the test case. Now
Now, we'll edit the the ID of the first name text box. If we don't use Helenium, the test case will be failed because of the wrong locator. However, Helenium will support us to find the similar one to interact. This helps us avoid unexpected broken test. The report for the healing will be generated. We can see the screenshot and the suggestion of Helenium here. There is a toggle button which we can use to agree or disagree with the suggestion, and this will help Helenium have a better suggestion for the next healing. Thanks a lot for your watching. Hope that you can find interest in Helenium and apply it into your project to reduce flaky test.